を止めた御霊に捧ぐ書籍番組を受ける表記についてです。さらに日本語への愛情と信念に基づき、統一語を取り出に応じて、漢字、ひらがな、カタカナ、ローマ字で時代に書き分け、また違う漢字で表記します。ただし、大きな部分までは、聞きやすさを考慮し、基本的にその表記の違いについては、研究いたしませんまたそれだけではなく例えば印象を変えます一人称にしても「僕」と「私」から「これ」までを自由に使い分けます全て一般の構成基準とは異なりますご了解ください本書は2004年6月に不走者から観光された日本国民が決断する日を開来しまた一部会合と新たな書き下ろしを加えた上で新書化した「ザック・バランに話してみたい」新書版の序に変えてその1このささやかな一冊が復活の書です。西暦で言えば2004年の書家に世に取った日本国民が決断する日を新書版としてよみがえらせました。初版の発行から実に12年目のことです。一日毎日激しく移ろう世界を扱うノンフィクションの分野では、まことに異例だと思います。12年前の書はもう死んでも当然だと著者の僕が正直に考えていました。僕はこれ書を書いていくとき、編集者に意見を求めません。編集者には出版のスケジュールに一定調整があるから、健康の進み具合の確認は受けます。そして、謙虚であることを人生で一番大切な原則を一つに据えていますから、原稿を最初の1時から最後の締めの1時まで書き上げ、題名も己としては定めた後、編集者から意見があれば一生懸命に耳を傾けます。それはプロフェッショナルな書き手としてむしろ当然の責務でもありますね。しかし書いている途中は何もかも、つまり企画の立案から、情報収集、取材、原稿の執筆、推理の仕上げまで、すべて自ら行います。どれほど忙しくても、それは変えません。本の出版が遅れても変えません。題名もすべて自らつけます。英語のタイトルがあるときも、必ず自分でつけます。表紙デザインの原稿も作ることが多いです。そうやって世に現れる僕の本は、曇りのある一個のおにぎりであってほしい。密室で書くのじゃなくて、誰からも見える広い大地に小さな田んぼを水から作り、みずみずしく水を張り、ふかふかと腰をかがめて作業をし、見せて食い、精米し、その米を炊き、手のひらで煮尽くし、その,おじさんの一歩一歩は世界と日本を裸の心で歩いてあちこちに資料の田んぼを作りそこから育つ実を文章にしていきます一人でそのように進んでくれる編集者たちに深く感謝しているのですしかし今回12年前の時を再生させようと<笑>編集者からの提案でした僕自身は読者から青山さんの著書の中で本当はこれが一番好きですという書き込みをブログに何度いただいても実感がありませんでした僕の本の中では最も複数の少ないので早く言えば売れなかったと言いながらです今でも僕は僕の名ですがこの本を出した当時はもっと不明
大学の生もあるでしょう。そして、この書は一年をかけてじっくり書き上げたが、熱い人であり、そういう書が簡単に受け入れられる時代ではすでになかったし、現在の未来はもっとそうなるでしょう。そこで、突然、実力派の編集者から、新書で再生しませんかという提案が舞い込んできました。新書だからページ数を削り込んでくださいという案とセットになっていました。僕は自分の書を改めて読むことをしません。職業としての物書きは2種類あると考えます。牛が食べ物を反するするように、ご自分の書いたものを繰り返し味わい、次への備えとする人、それから語るし、浄化作用が起きて、それどころか何を書いてかは少しばかりで次へ進む人、その2種類です。どちらが気に悪いの問題では全くありません。持って生まれた性格に気にします。僕はまんま後者です。だからちょっと抵抗を感じながら、日本国民が決断する意味をまだまだ理解してくれありのままに。しましたここまで正直に言っていいものかと思いますが It's just one o'clock, so welcome back to the lecture. We shall we shall we commence again the lecture after the session. Yeah, again, I am a trail.
we got some, um, yeah, we're going back to the agenda today. Yeah, here, um, our agenda. Today, um, we have done, we have done as well, and sugars as energy source of human activity. <coughs> and, uh, excuse me. Yeah, and um, we have done, of course, with the uh, artificial sweeters and uh, also the uh, sweeter sweetness uh, comparison, just comparison with some um, among sugars or among sugars and artificial sweeters. And um, I have mentioned of sweetness triangle. And also I have already told cyclodextrin these agendas. The final point in this lecture is um, not, not something like we cannot taste, uh, but um, uh, it's like uh, critical, one of critical re uh, reaction inside of our body for electron reduction, oxygen in a human body and in fuel cell. And just a comparison between the human body and fuel cell present you use. <clears throat> um, we can, um, before that, but um, I'm going to touch some of your approaches. An instrument, instrumentation. Uh, how do you know a psychodextrin and a fra uh, fragrance or flavor molecule from a complex? How do you know that? Is, uh, yeah, we use a lot of NMR or MRI. NMR is short form of nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. MRI is especially for the year. Animal bodies, uh, of course, including human and magnetic resonance imaging. This is technique, the basic things of the technique, the exact same. Uh, so, like tiny differences in more eyes, like uh, uh, sample diameter is huge as compared to this. And the more case of chemistry, and then more case here, only five millimeter of sample tube, grass sample tube you use, or but MRI case is like. Uh, yeah, sometimes animal take an MRI measurement. But have you ever experienced MRI? Yeah, I'm just asking you. For me, yes. Yeah, some people say that MRI is like uh, inside quite noisy. It was very noisy, uh, changing the uh, frequency and the uh, maybe comparison is like the comparison is you're going to make make the air some uh, to take a look at your inside of the body. Uh, you you need some the air tomography tomography uh, picture required. So you to take a tomography example. Uh, yeah, MRI is one of the way to take a tomography. And other is a computed tomography, X-ray, computed tomography, tomography, and maybe short form is CD and um, PET. I guess this three uh, are maybe after uh, others is a spect or something, but MRI, CD, and PET is um, to get into animal tomography, yes, is um, this way. Uh, I don't explain PET today and CT as well, but MRI is um, uh, MRI uh, instrument is uh, uh, when you when you when you measure the MRI, you have to get into the very much tiny room. So you maybe you are never experienced. So the some of, some people could not stay there and. 
they, they, they feel that something like, uh, oh, they get sick, kind of sick. And, and they are feeling fear about their very tiny uh, room. So maybe I had that almost 50% could not measure the MRI because they cannot stand for the situation of their tiny room. So their, my guess is all right. I, I slept inside my MRI, even if it's a quite tiny room and noisy, but um, MRI technique and MRI is the same. So with MR, uh, complexation and decompression, you can see the air with an MR. In the disease like something like uh, Right after lunch, I don't know which kind of lunch you had this afternoon. So, uh, in my case, this is, this is kind of shit season of um, like uh, busy season in university. And I guess it's the same situation in the laboratory. So, the, like uh, for us, next week we have a uh, master, uh, kind of master defense and bachelor defense as well. and. Um, at present, this year, I don't have a PhD student, so, uh, uh, and uh, master, first year, uh, in, a, in a department, uh, most of first year students also have some uh, presentation, so like, like an intermediate uh, presentation or something like that. So the uh, next week, we have three days of the presentation uh, master defense and bachelor defense and um, M1 students um, uh, uh, research progress presentation or something like that. So <clears throat> master thesis and bachelor thesis and um, first of course a student wrote but um, it's um, all for Japanese so I, I get screaming ah, fuck, fuck I'm doing such a <laughs> nonsense Japanese or something like that. So I get mad and the, uh, I just um, inspect their writing and also their presentation as well. Uh, our department, the uh, student need a um, abstract and um, presentation files. So uh, I guess um, today uh, midnight is dead rhyme of the abstract. So the uh, between lecture and lecture, this lecture and lecture, uh, my student shows up to me and the, uh, they showed me the uh, abstract draft. And again, I get mad. Oh, you're writing. Japanese writing is not so good. This sentence, this sentence does not have subject or something like that. So the, uh, right after this um, lecture, I have to uh, check again their the, uh, drafts as well. So the, uh, anyhow, um, map again on the uh, uh, Shizuoka Prefecture. And uh, this is Fuji, Fuji Mountain is here. Some description, I'm sorry, about them in Japanese. And I guess you are around here, Shizuoka City. And um, I think university is around here. And this side, you can see the, uh, yeah, Pacific Ocean, but the Suruga Bay. Suruga Bay is, as you know, it's quite deep. Uh, bay, even if which is very much close to the land, and um, maybe if you visit here, um, uh, just um, I guess from Shizuoka City, less than two hours driving or something like that, you're driving Numazu. Numazu is a good spot, like um, uh, many fishing ships, others, so very good uh, seafood you can get. And also the year, my recommendation is Numazu Deep Sea Museum. So even if quite short uh, distance, but you get, you're going to hit very deep sea in Suruga Bay. So uh, yeah, fish and others, crabs, a complete different, huge crabs and um, uh, looks bad. Yeah, let's see, ugly uh, fish. You can see those um, museum, deep sea museum, deep sea museum, Numazu deep sea museum is my recommendation. 
Uh, I don't know whether or not uh, you visit this peninsula, is a peninsula. Uh, yeah, this is a place of the Wasabi. And also, uh, both sides has a very, you, you can get some very good fish and um, light, dry fish. Those taste is really nice. So, of course, the sashimi, uh, just raw fish is good taste, but um, uh, light, dried one is just a right dried uh, from the raw to right dry unit two hours or sometimes half day or something like that. Um, <clears throat> amino acid, uh, no, peptide digestion takes place. So your now you have uh, in a raw fish just you had just some long peptide, less tasty, but uh, just some two hour drying or half day drying, which makes your uh, digestion of your protein to make some ammonia, uh, no, 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 ammonia, amino acid. So the taste of the light, dry fish taste is really nice, especially around here. I do not the English name, but Japanese name is um, Golden Eye Snapper, Golden Eye Snapper. It tastes really nice around here. And uh, yeah, you have to visit around this area. Also, across the Numazu, uh, you have um, the name of the town is Shimizu. Uh, uh, Shimizu, yeah, Shimizu. Shimizu. The town is Shimizu. Shimizu Cho, I guess, around here, Shimizu Cho, which have river, name of the river is Kakitagawa. Kakitagawa River, so clean, fresh water uh, because of Fuji Mountain is here, and Fuji Mountain shape is something like yeah, this shape, so, uh, which has um, a uh, quite wider area around here, so once you get a rain here and the rain goes into the soil and filtration takes place and around here of uh, Fuji, Numazu, Mishima, those parties. The water is extremely clear and especially Kakita River has a very much uh, clear water uh, from the Fuji mountain, worth it, worth it, worth it to visit. Uh, Numazu and um, his peninsula. I don't know how many times you have um, visited those areas or not. Oh, of course, the, uh, your neighbor yeah, is, has a um, big uh, fisherman uh, place and uh, uh, fisherman market. So, yeah, again, worth it to visit. And yeah, this has a um, fish place as well. And down to, to, to west, um, you're going to hit them. Um, Mamatsu, and uh, as I mentioned, uh, Hamanako. Yeah, this is just the geology of the, uh, our uh, Shizuoka prefecture. And um, now, again, we're going to fly to, 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 to uh, not last time. Uh, we, uh, I showed you the uh, Thailand, but this time I'm going to show you the yes, I'm going to cross the Pacific Ocean. And in Shizuoka University, uh, you have program for student program, especially bachelor student program during the year, summertime. Uh, they're going to do to, to like a one month staying in Canadian uh, family or American family, maybe Korean family as well. And then their time is there just attend lecture of English conversation lectures. And um, uh, those program need some escort professors. So the year in uh, 2016, that means five years ago, I got some, um, yeah, I got, I, I, um, I escort the uh, almost 20 students to, 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 to Canada. Name of the city is um, Edmonton. So the year, I just show you some of the picture from the Canada. This is the year bus from Hamamatsu to, to, to Narita Airport via Shizuoka. Yeah, this is on our way, which is summer Fuji. <clears throat> yeah. 
yeah, these are students, 19 students, and um, at present, elder student is um, almost close to the year, master close. So yeah, this is like uh, they're uh, just um, uh, freshman or maybe second year or something like that. This is in the year uh, Naruto. We are waiting for the year airplane and cross the Pacific Ocean. We once arrived in Vancouver. You know the name of the city of Vancouver, uh, west coast of the Canada. So this is uh, Can North America. So uh, Vancouver, San Francisco, LA, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, and yeah, Edmonton is around here. Calgary is around here. Right. This is um, we crossed the. Uh, uh, we just we arrived in Vancouver and crossed the uh, Rocky Mountain. Uh, this is Vancouver, and um, these are quite high mountains, rocky. A Canadian rocky. You, if you go down thir south, you're gonna hit the uh, American Rocky Mountain. So this is the uh, yeah Canadian Rocky Mountain cross, and you arrived in um, Edmonton here. This is, I guess, this is capital of the, this um, uh, province of um, uh, Abrada, Abrada province. The, the two big, big cities are maybe Edmonton and Calgary. Uh, Vancouver belongs to, to uh, British Columbia. Name of the province, the prefecture is British Columbia. And we, we went to Edmonton, I guess. Uh, this is Vancouver Airport. We are waiting for the next airplane. Uh, we got the transit August 8th in 2016. Uh, yeah, we just jumped across the Rocky Mountain with its airplane. Yeah, very much North American. Uh, this is the University, University of Abrada. Uh, just scenery is like a, uh, a typical North American university. You can see the rabbits and the birds in the distance, uh, quite close to, to, to human. And these are all members. Um, this myself. Uh, before this trip, I got some uh, experimental uh, accident. Uh, I got some explosion of the. ESR tube, so I got some owned here, so the year looks very ugly, but uh, myself here and other ex escort person is um, this lady is um, uh, to this person just escort uh, these um, almost 20 students. Yeah, this is the first day we got some same t-shirts and this is a post family father and uh, I don't know which student's post father, but yeah, something like this. This is just first day, uh, August 8th, but uh, I guess in Edmonton, Canada, it's quite cool, good, good, very much good weather. And this is some uh, lectures. They, they were having everyday lecture for one month, but um, for me, just um, my responsibility is just to bring them to Edmonton and bring back to, to Japan. So the uh, uh, last two days is for me, just uh, not free, but almost free. Yeah, this is just um, first days or second days lectures. And uh, she also, this is a school person from the Cisco University, so, but she, she's working at administration section, but um, she also not necessary to join the class, but she, she's quite, you know, um, yeah, so she's, yeah, very nice. So she she joined at all of classes and after three weeks or something like that, um, maybe uh, her English skill is best among these people. These people are students, so they are, you know, paid it extra pay for 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 this um, uh, to join this program. For her, she has just been paid it by Shizuoka University. Exact same situation of mine, but her case, free class and um, her English skill 
becomes very uh, nice after this uh, program. Yeah, this is a teacher. And yeah, basic some English. Are you from Canada or another country or something like something like that? So the, yeah, it's same Japanese students is always like uh, uh, shy. So uh, no one raise a hand and um, yeah. So uh, he has in fact he has some very. Uh, Oops. Yeah, this um, teacher, he has very interesting background. He was born in uh, Uganda, Africa, and um, his family was basically from India. So the, why he, he was born in Uganda is um, uh, the parents' job or something like that. But the um, family history is originally from India. Now he's Canadian, so except Japan, those kind of people are not. J Japanese is quite isolated because of maybe because of the uh, island country. Or something, so. Shopping mall across, yeah, maybe inside of the university, yeah, or well, maybe across the university we have shopping mall there, and uh, first lunch and um, first day lunch, and just we are we got a tour inside of the university. This is I guess a library, the main library in um, University of Abrada. yeah. Green T-shirts, people are ourselves and. This lady is a tutor, a season, a, a student of, a, um, of the uh, University of Abrada. She's a guest in third year, and her major is not engineering, not science, but um, uh, like um, drama or something like that. So the, uh, like um, maybe after graduation, she got um, a job example, a TV, uh, broadcasting station and not act, but rather uh, making some drama or something like that. And um, uh, on my way back to 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 Edmonton Airport, just um, just um, we completed this program. Um, she's also preparing the next class or something like that. And her textbook is. Um, uh, uh, Shakespeare textbook, and um, she was reading just beside me, and she told me, hey, Yasu, uh, look at this um, English. Could you understand this English? It looks like English, but uh, uh, I don't understand mean. So uh, this um, Shakespeare, uh, the uh, she old uh, English, and she said, yes. So the, uh, are you, I asked again, are you, Learning th this kind of English, yes. So the, uh, it sounds very much hard work to to, to understand the old uh, era uh, English, and yeah, that's her uh, major. Uh, her name is Rebecca. This is insight in the northern part of Canada. You have also, uh, let's say. Uh, Indians, not Indian at all, but um, so you have some totem poles and these kind of, uh, it looks like a um, camping tent, but um, this is your Canadian Indian's house. Uh, this is professor's meeting and um, the host professor, top host professor, oh yeah, this lady was. Uh, host professor, she 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 has um, Chinese background, so she, she prefers the Chinese restaurants of the year. Yeah, we had the um, first meeting. Professor meeting was held in the Chinese restaurant. I guess um, this is American professor or yeah, blah blah. And um, in the morning. Uh, the student have a, a lecture, uh, English conversation lecture, and others. But in the afternoon, the other programs, example, visit museum and others. This is um, Canadian Edmonton Museum. 
and um, I let's say uh, these are mod modern art. <laughs> I I really do not understand the art. You get some ste steam around here exist, and um, I don't know. This is yeah, modern, modern, just modern art. Yeah, students, I brought. Yeah, Rebecca here. And in the afternoon, the Azure program is not only visiting uh, uh, museum, but uh, just um, uh, with them, uh, university abroad student with um, just some conversation class and the cross um, friendly conversation classes at present completely impossible because it's um, so packed and uh, during some circumstances of COVID-19 we can get this um, kind of program. We are happy. Uh, this is university and you can see my shadow here. Um, this is just right before class. And I guess grass is from 8.30 or something like that. Temperature is yes, so 15 degrees. So at, at the same time, uh, in Japan, you got some, yeah, close to 40 degrees Celsius. So here, yeah, Canada's weather is really nice. Yeah, something like that. Uh, some substitute, uh, substitute inside of your university. And, um, yeah, we got many pictures. Yeah, one of the students, her uh, piano playing is very excellent. Yeah, some tour, afternoon tours, and uh, we got uh, maybe you can see some yellow bus in movie or something like that. exact those bus school bus we took the school bus and bit some places such as a uh, huge shopping mall uh, uh, this is inside of the uh, shopping mall west west and a mountain shopping mall or something like that this is not at present world top wider shopping mall, but um, I guess uh, around 20 years ago, this is the biggest shopping mall in the, in the world. Inside you have some <clears throat> pilot ship or swimming school and skate link and other, everything inside. And if you cross them, the uh, shopping mall, you get very much tired because it's quite wide. Yeah, this is, yeah. Swimming pool. Yeah, skate link at the same time, same season. But, uh, book for a skate link. I have organized the uh, uh, party uh, in the university. This is the first Friday, and these students are uh, around 18 years old those days. So in Japan, they could not drink alcohol. But in Canada, Can Canadian laws, 18 years old is all right. They could drink alcohol. That's the reason why I have organized this and a beer drinking party. Yeah, I very much enjoy the uh, food, any food in the world. For me, um, just um, um, as I told, my mission, main mission is safely bring students and bring back. So other day is, I'm mine just free, I got bus. And I just, um, I have a friend in Calgary. I'm going to visit my friend in Calgary. Yeah, I met my friend. 
uh, he is working for University of Calgary. We are visiting, the students were visiting the University of Abrada, but um, my student, uh, my uh, friend is working for University of Calgary. So just, um, yeah, I arrived in University of Calgary. Yeah, my friends, George is um, three sons, and um, he has wife and three sons, and these, uh, no, these two are twins, so, uh, Benjamin, Benjamin, Benjamin is sure, and is, and Daniel, maybe Daniel Matthew. I, I don't, I, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, George invited me to 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 to, to uh, dinner, and then why we could have dinner is I get some presentation in uh, University of California, the date is something like that. Nobel Green re reagent is electric for rechargeable magnesium battery. Yeah, as I told, my name is battery scientist, so my lecture is like something battery. So the, your um, Calgary is very close to Rocky Mountain, so the climate changes so quickly. Oops, I can show you this some. Um, uh, interesting video. Could you see? Could you see the uh, thunderstorm uh, lightning? Can you see the lightning? Uh, I'm going to play again. Yeah, yeah. A lot of chance to to see the such a beautiful lightning in Calgary because of the uh, Rocky Mountain. And again, <laughs> he invited us here, like an Indian restaurant. And other friend, Gary, showed it up. They are friends since they are bachelor student. And Gary and myself, he is student. Uh, when I was postdoc in uh, Strasbourg, France. Those days, he was a student in exact same laboratory. So the year, finally, uh, myself, Jewish Mizu and Gary Hannon friends. And uh, once a year, somewhere in the world, we met, almost once a year, we met and uh, drink together a lot. This is Lisa, George's wife. In Canada, between Calgary and Edmonton, we, you have some tiny, uh, uh, yeah, the geology is quite interesting, and it looks like a tiny Grand Canyon, something like that. A course, which calls a Horseshoe Canyon. Horseshoe, it's like, yeah, Horseshoe Canyon, so we, we visited. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, very nice. Yeah, this is inside the first can Horseshoe Canyon. And Edmonton, Abrada is, uh, you can have many petrols, uh, like Thailand, also, land of the uh, dinosaurs, uh, Loyal Tree Museum is some um, like um, history of geology and dinosaurs. This is um, uh, again recommendation. Uh, Numazu, Numazu Deep Sea Museum in Numazu and the, uh, uh, this um, dinosaurs museum in Abrada. These two are my recommendation. Yeah, inside is like uh, fossils of your dinosaurs. And um, close to the, uh, the museum, the other uh, geology is like, uh, looks like mushroom. Um, do you know the uh, Japanese mushroom? Um, looks like close to this um, shape. Uh, name of places, you may call this hoodoo. So you can see the, those um, interesting geology in North America, anywhere, Yellowstone in the United States. Yeah, as I mentioned, Grand Canyon, United States, those are quite interesting geologies. And, uh, yeah, this is hoodoo. Eringi, 
Do you know a ring, a, a, a ring, a ring mushroom in, in Japan, a ring mushroom, the shape is a cross, but this height is two meter or something. <clears throat> and students were taking classes, but George, me, and Gary, and George's family, we went to camping in the deep part of Canada. Uh, Canada, Canada Rocky. Completely packed with um, chips or water, and um, we went to from Calgary, Calgary to 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 cross the Banff, and we went to Jasper. This is very much deep part of Canadian Rocky. Yeah, glacier is something like that. Did, did, you, have, did you have the news from India? In India, you got some crop, uh, crust of your grass, which makes them some uh, avalanche or something like that. So, uh, yeah, this is grass here. This is camping spot. And um, the kids should cut the, uh, this whole wood into uh, pieces. That's a boys, Canadian boys' job. This is a tiny tent. It's for uh, Gary and myself. They are two, 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 for two guys' bedroom. And first thing Gary did is two, 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 to make some tiny pound uh, to cool down beer. So the uh, he, uh, he he put some uh, natural fridge and um, besides a river. This is a family size tent and cooking is camping cooking. <clears throat> yeah, rivers is running is quite fast and yeah, of course, Canada, Canada, we have beer, black beer. We have two types of beer in Canada. It's like close to Japanese situation. We have black beer. Uh, Skino Aguma, and we have red beer. Uh, it's uh, Higuma in Hokkaido. So in Canada, same black bear and uh, red bear is grizzly. You may call that grizzly. This is black bear. So in, in Rocky, uh, the distance between bear and human is like. Uh, five meter or something like that, but we have to always prepare the uh, preparation, safety preparation. So we have to close the uh, uh, own car, and of course, door is unlocked. So uh, if uh, a bear is approaching to you, we have to just um, get into uh, the car. So we need those um, safety preparation. Elisa cooked us your uh, sandwich, uh, turkey, I asked turkey, Gary was turkey as well, and um, three others get some bit longer hike, and uh, sheeps, uh, maybe goat. So crows, yeah, this is a good shot. And this is video, you see? Yeah, these family, family ships, are, uh, we are having lunch together. Uh, they're just, um, uh, just chasing us. They are, the families are. Grashers. And uh, yeah, in Canada, uh, they you can find some of these kind of red chairs. It's like Canada selected uh, a Canadian uh, top view or something like that. Always you can see uh, these red chairs in Canada. So I spent almost 50 minutes in Canada. So we have to going back to the lecture uh, myself.
Yeah, this is lecture as well. And elk. Yeah, sometimes restaurant. And um, yeah, we often visit the restaurant as well. And this is interesting. Uh, the uh, sign of the restaurant. We have no Wi-Fi. Talk each other or call your mother. <laughs> Something like that. It's really funny. Hmm. Geology. We have hot spring in Canada as well. Yeah. Metis hot spring, but um, not naked. In Canada, you need some bathing costume when you get into the bath. Hot spring. Elk. Yeah, not only camping food, but uh, sometimes we visit restaurant. And uh, yeah, during this summer, quite mid-summer, but um, it's uh, cooler than Edmonton. Yeah, I guess uh, temperature is less 10 degrees Celsius. We need some fire. Uh, chipmunk. The grassers and um, these yeah, grassers are in fact uh, ice river. So it looks just stained, but in fact it is moving. And um, at the end of the grassier, uh, house house size of the uh, ice come down to the uh, this lake. The noise is almost same as thunder. So we feel a thunderstorm or something like that. We see up skies, but skies blue. Its noise sound is coming from the grassier crops. <clears throat> yeah, still I have some bandage on my hands because of the uh, explosion. Yeah, we got rainbow camping hood. Yeah, some beautiful scenery. The name of the lake is Marine uh, Lake. <clears throat> yeah, we are having um, lunch. Birds family. And the other member of our camping is um, uh, Georgie's neighbor, uh, his name is also Gary. My friend's name is Gary, but he, he is also Gary. And Gary's daughter, uh, Jaya, and he's, he is not at present, but he was um, a world karate champion for two times or three times. Now he's here. Uh, he, he owns his own karate dojo. So he's kind of crazy guy. We drink a lot during the camping. <laughs> yeah, so the are, yeah, we met, sometimes we met, sometimes because I visit George, always his neighbors, so he is there, so we could see for some moment. Maybe we're going back to this picture, but um, uh, before that, uh, we have to uh, more with science, Again, yeah, fourth point uh, among the agenda, fourth point for electron reduction of oxygen in human body and in fuel cell. This is schematic representation of the fuel cell. Do you know the fuel cell cars? Uh, Toyota has and uh, Honda has fuel cell car. Instead of petrol, you have to charge the uh, hydrogen. I guess in, I do not know the uh, situation in Shizuoka, but in Hamamatsu, we have only one hydrogen uh, gas station. So uh, I do not know how many gas uh, hydrogen stations in Japan, but um, very hard job 
to, to, to find out the hydrogen stand. So uh, we should make, yeah, before driving, we should make sure the, uh, you know, hydrogen uh, stands. Once you just, um, you know, it gets empty of your tank, hydrogen tank, very hard to find out the hydrogen, at least in Sizuoka prefecture. And schematic representation of um, fuel cell is um, this way. This is um, anode, this is cathode. So in, in anode, uh, hydrogen react uh, with them, um, react with the, uh, this um, catalyst to make the uh, H plus proton and electron. Electron goes through the uh, external circuit, uh, arrived in the cathode, and also proton uh, go through the uh, electrolyte, met um, electron here, electron here, proton here, oxygen here. And the final product is uh, H2O as exhaust gas. So some people say that uh, this is green energy, something that um, in this point is quite green, but uh, how to make the hydrogen? Electrolysis of the water, it's um, just wasting energy. So main source at present hydrogen is petrol, it's same. So uh, in this picture, it's quite uh, environmentally friendly system, but um, at present H2 generation is only from the petrol. So you should burn of the uh, intercombustion present intercombustion engine, it's um, energetically uh, high efficiency. Yeah, I should emphasize at least at present. But the, uh, you know, like a reaction in fuel cell is something like this. Yeah, t t these two reactions. And in catalyst, this catalyst, anode catalyst, anode catalyst, same. You only know, some precious metals such as met, uh, platinum or something like that. So this system, this reaction is quite precious. <clears throat> A key reaction is full electron reduction. Yeah, this, this part catalyzed by platinum cathode. Uh, both sides have platinum, so the <clears throat> system is quite expensive. Also, Hydrogen uh, cylinder, it, this is also expensive. So uh, hydrogen cylinder is at present, you're charging, you're keeping high hydrogen with the pressure of 17 megapascal. Quite high pressure. <clears throat> Maybe in your laboratory, laboratory you have hydrogen cylinder, but uh, yeah, it's similar, like, something like this pressure and which car always in Japan red? Maybe you have red ceiling that in your laboratory, <clears throat> but um, it's um, made from metal. So if you if you make the cylinder with metal, it's easy easy to keep the uh, seventy megapascal. But for cars, you cannot use metal as it's too heavy. So the uh, energy consumption the car is very bad if you can't use metal cylinder. The present cylinder is from uh, plastic, uh, fiber plastic, grass fiber plastic. It's quite tough against this pressure, but the price is also very much expensive. So the hydrogen cylinder and these platinum rises the price of your hydrogen car, I would say at present. <clears throat> so just, I am going to asking you in your report, the efficient for electron reduction of the oxygen. So the, how can we, you know, more, uh, we need some high efficiency of this reaction. This is the secondary battery, uh, lithium ion battery, uh, not platinum, but the cathode is a cobalt compound, cobalt oxide, and anode minus electrode is um, uh, carbon graphite. So lithium plus 
goes into these layers. This is also layers, compound, charging and discharging, and just listen for us moved between cathode and anode, and electrons goes through the air in the same way, external circuit. This is lithium ion battery, and this part is electrolyte. Present lithium ion battery has a liquid electrolyte. The solvent is organic solvent, and lithium salt is dissolved in those solvent. <clears throat> yeah, reaction is something like that, charge and discharge. Yeah, this reaction. Again, we're going to see the full electron reduction of oxygen. And what happened, those reactions in human or plant, it's happened in mitochondria, inner membranes. So some of you are, your major area is, might be the bioscience. So you know well the, these um, part. Um, if you inhale air, it first goes to to, to lung, and um, <clears throat> you have to bring the air. Any any cells in your body via like uh, uh, as a blood, so the air blood vessels goes anywhere in your body, and um, inside of the blood you have hemoglobin. Hemoglobin react with oxygen, and hemoglobin brings oxygen into the air. Uh, cells at the end, the oxygen react here uh, at the inside of the mitochondria and to give the hydrogen, uh, excuse me, uh, proton uh, concentration slope between these two members. That is energy, that is the human energy. Case of battery, we're going to make the lithium concentration change. But in human body, human do not use the lithium plus instead proton uh, concentration slope. If we have concentration slope between very thin film, it's energy charge. Same concentration is, uh, you just use uh, discharge. Charge is concentration change, concentration difference, and this charge means concentration becomes same. So human body makes the uh, proton uh, concentration, and uh, this side high proton concentration. So charging the proton is human body's energy at charging. Uh, we use the uh, oxygen and um, some uh, electrons from our, our foods and others. So it's driven in mitochondria. Yeah, just zoom up the mitochondria uh, schematic presentation. These are my handwriting, so looks very bad. So ugly, but it um, explains not so bad. You may call that in the membrane, external membrane here. And inter in inter intermembrane space, you get some high concentration of proton here, and you may call the these part is matrix matrix intermembrane space, <clears throat> and you have some enzymes here. You have enzymes of uh, which name is quite long cytochrome C. Oxidase is here at the same cross uh, ATP synthetase here. So the key two enzymes are cytochrome C oxidase and ATP synthetase. This need energy to synthesize ATP from ATP and phosphoric acid. And the energy is Hydrogen, uh, H plus concentration. So we're going to see much more zoom in around here. Uh, going to see the structure of cytochrome C oxidase. 
Yeah, cytochrome C oxygen enzyme, membrane protein, and locate in a membrane here. I think this is in the membrane space. This is matrix, so direction is a bit wrong. Uh, this side is in the membrane, and this side is matrix. And this figure here is matrix here, and in the membrane here, the function of cytochrome C oxidase is bring four protons from matrix to the inner membrane space. So. Uh, now you have high proton concentration here than here. That energy is charged. But at the same time, you spend uh, same four protons as uh, maybe people call that chemical proton, and um, to, which makes the air uh, react with oxygen and uh, electron and uh, exhaust things is. Um, Water to water molecules. So, pump uh, proton flow, pumped proton is four proton and chemical proton at the same time four. This is like energy. Uh, finally, you're going to choose the protons at this side. This is your function of cytochrome C oxidase, and we have to comparison with some human human bodies of fuel cell. Pure cell cases, you need platinum, quite precious metals. But you see, a uh, case of human body, in a human body, you just need hem. This is not different from uh, hemogreen hems, but same hem, iron here, iron here, and uh, yeah, copper, copper here, and uh, copper and iron. Yeah, if you see the comparison of the price platinum, so the are case of human body is um, just almost similar reaction of whole electron uh, reduction of oxygen, but um, human body just need iron and copper, but fuel cell need platinum. So that's the reason I'm asking in short uh, report, how can we overcome this issue Human body just need iron and iron copper, but the fuel cell need platinum. So there any some idea to have some good efficient uh, for electron reduction oxygen, such as human body. <clears throat> yeah, hem structure is maybe as you know, uh, yeah, pro profin is some basic profin, and uh, hem has some uh, iron at the center of the uh, uh, profin uh, moiety. So again, so you're just, um, we are charging energy as a proton concentration this side and you're going to this energy. Uh, proton concentration is used by ATP synthetase. And cytochrome C oxidase generates a concentration gradient of the proton across lipid bilayer membrane, where four protons, chemical proton, consume to form the two H2O molecule, and the other four protons, pump protons, cross the membrane. This pump proton is charged proton. This clearly indicate that the generation of the concentration gradient of metro ion cross a quite short distance, such as five to 10 nanometer is equal to the energy storage. Uh, five to uh, 10 nanometer is this, uh, this size, uh, let's say, uh, this distance, this, this, only, Five or ten nanometer, and but um, cross that um, lipid lipid bilayer. This side is high proton concentration. This side low proton concentration. That means energy is uh, stored. In this point, energy is stored as a proton concentration, and then. 
This strange energy is applicable to ATP synthesis, ATP synthesis from ADP and phosphoric acid with ADP synthetase. How can you use this? <clears throat> yeah, just um, manga structure of ATP synthetase is like this. This, this rotates, right? It's a kind of uh, molecular motor. So in the membrane, and then um, if you're going to zoom out, I mean this. This is ATP synthesis, uh, close to locate of the cyclone C of states, and this part is as you see. This part, and I think, and this um, position gamma part is I guess rotate, and this matrix side, this intermembrane side, and now we have high concentration proton high concentration. This is the side of the low proton concentration, so energy is charged. The proton is go through, and which drives some gamma part rotation and kind of uh, physical force. I, I think they're not so sure yet, but the, uh, uh, those physical power makes the uh, vicinity between ADP and phosphoric acid. That means, you know, two phosphoric acid and ADP vicinity makes uh, ADP reaction so easily. Uh, that means you need some physical force by the uh, uh, proton concentration, proton uh, pro concentration gradient. Three protons go, goes this side because this is higher and this is lower. So automatically, a uh, proton goes from this side to there until the proton concentration is the same. And mechanically, uh, ADP and phosphoric acid, uh, mechanically uh, force to cross and to easier ATP formation. This strange energy as a proton gradient is applicable to ATP synthesis from ADP and phosphoric acid, whereas ATP synthesis eventually ATP molecules are consumed as an energy source of the uh, sodium potassium concentration gradient to be a lipid by layer member as a function of the uh, sodium potassium ATPase to maintain the animal to live. Yeah, this part is just um, not, we are not focused today. Our, our focus is this part. Yeah, this guy, cytochrome C oxidase, uh, the function is quite efficient for electron reduction of the oxygen, but present fuel cell not. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's the last slide or something. So we have to go back to the uh, um, so report. Submit your report, not today, until. Until. Until coming Monday, Monday. Fifteenth, nine a.m. until Monday. Next Monday, fifteenth, nine a.m. Morning a.m. Your report, your short report must include four points. I told you a brief. 
my lecture. Yeah, of course, you can include some Canadian uh, things or Thailand things or everything you can include. And uh, the point, a, a point, uh, whatever, two points, whatever, uh, the point you are interested in comes very much. I would like to ask you that here, the, 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 the solution for the efficient for electron reduction of oxygen. So the, your, we need those new ideas to, to, to produce the your novel fuel cell. So human body, very efficient, but present fuel cell, man-made fuel cell, not yet. So our major area is, I guess, completely different. So up to your major area, up to your knowledge. So think about this, dear. How can we solve this issue of um, efficiency, of oxygen reduction? So these four points you have to include. And um, yeah, deadline is this one. And maybe I get some... I get some um, bit. And then the picture is a little more interesting if there are. Um, uh, maybe not. Yeah, only one month. Uh, but they got graduation, uh, 20 students. And um, yeah, I guess last month. Uh, which guy? Which girl? This girl. And uh, which girl? This girl. And it's this girl. And this uh, this boy. These three. We had dinner together. These three. I invited them in Hamamatsu. Yeah, we going back to 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 to. Ah, uh, for me second time, but I brought these. Um, Five students and um, escort lady as well. I did the second time, almost at the end of August in 2016. Yeah, this is almost final day. And the um, escort lady called me, uh, Professor Tanaka, what about going to, 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 to uh, last steak together or something like that? So we had steak. She, she, she really likes, she likes steak. Uh, a brown steak is very good. Yeah, and then we're going back to, 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 to uh, from Narita Airport to Shizuoka City and Hamamatsu. This picture is not obvious. On my way back to, to Shizuoka and Hamamatsu, we have double-decker uh, rainbow. Double, oops, <laughs> double-decker rainbow. Unfortunately, not obvious. There's one more rainbow here. On this picture, it's not obvious, but we got beautiful double deco rainbow uh, in the this August Tuesday, almost end of the trip. Then again, um. Oops, where? There's a report. Yeah, this one. Yeah, not today, but um, until coming Monday. Until D coming Monday. I demand you a short report with only one piper. Uh, you submit beer. Right? Is there a question or comment? If you have, uh, just um, use the chat function on YouTube. Or afterwards, after this lecture, you may have some comment and questions, and, um, such as, like, comment, the uh, food in Thailand looks very nice or something like that. Food in Canada looks something nice. Or Yeah, I very much welcome those um, uh, uh, comments and um, yeah, uh, yeah, almost, almost 
end the this lecture. I'm looking forward to 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 to, to having your short report in um, Gakum Java system. All right. That's it. Maybe I'll see you next time soon. Ciao, ciao. です。Ah. <sighs>